In this video, we will be learning some general adverbs. And, and, and I have already covered adjectives, I have covered verbs. As I said, this video is focused on, on adverbs. Now, one thing that I need you to understand is that adjectives, adjectives describe nouns. Describe nouns. So if you want to say, I don't know, if if you if you want to say Rancy is beautiful, then you are describing Rancy with 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 the word beautiful, which is an adjective. Okay, so adjectives uh, describe nouns. Now uh, talking about verbs. Verbs are actions. Verbs are actions that nouns are doing. That nouns. Uh, perform. So if you say, you know, uh, Rancy is running to, to, to the gym, then running is an action because you are describing how, how Rancy is acting to achieve the goal of reaching the gym. Okay, so, so, so adverbs are, are these words that, that, you know, modify your, your adjectives, maybe verbs, and, and they are kind of unique because you don't really, uh, can, you, some students have a little bit of a difficulty to, to, you know, pluck a adverb right out of a sentence. So these are a little bit more tricky. However, they're still equally valuable. So, so normally, how or you know how you would see them, uh, you know, you you if you are saying you know he walked in very very quietly. Now, when you say quietly, that would be an adverb. Now, that is modifying the truth or the overall structure of coming in. So, so that's what's so important. Adjectives describe nouns, adverbs, adverbs would describe, describe, ad, you know, adjectives or, or verbs. And that's their speciality. So, so let's, let's start right now so so our first one could be now yeah let's start with now so so now in punjabi is hone so that's a ha ha onkar arnana and a lama hone and this is a now that's what this means in english now where do we see this? Well, if you want to say get here now, you are describing getting here, which get is a verb. You you are describing that with 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 right now. So so that would be an adverb. Let's do tomorrow. Tomorrow is called palke. So it's a papa lala kaka wadalama palke. So this would be tomorrow. Then we want to do early. Early is savakte. Uh, so it's a sasa, vava, kaka, tata, and a lama. Savakte. This would be early. Then for late, we want to have kovele. So we have a kaka, ankar, vava, lama, lala, and another lama. So this would be late. For for here we would have ite. So it's a iri, a lama, a tata, and another lama. So you know this this would be here. For there we would have ote. So we have a open ura to show that there's a hura at the top here, and then we have a tata with the lama ote. So this would be a there. Then we could have, you know, a way. A way would be uh, either either you could have dur, or you could have, or you could have pare, pare, and this would mean a way. This material would mean a way. We can also ask, uh, you know, or. Or, 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 or rather, rather than a question, when you are describing a verb, then, then you can e either say, normally in English, we use this as wherever he goes, he makes a mess. So, so in Punjabi, how do we say that? Because you're not asking where, you're just asking, or you're just 
telling you're not really asking anybody you're just telling that w- any place this particular individual visits he makes a mess so so that kind of where where so so the where uh the one that we do not use in a question however in a normal sentence to describe uh, other nouns that where the non-question where is jate so it's a jaja with the sihari tata with the lama or you can also see or you know hear kete something like that so so this material these two would be uh, you know where let's keep going to on a new slide if i wanted to slowly if if i want to say slowly uh, i would say holly so it's a haha with the kanada lala with the bindi the nabihari holly this would be slowly then if i want to say in a hurry that would be kali so that would be kali that would be uh, you know hurriedly i believe that's a word if i want to say seldom which just means rarely then you say kadin kadai so this would be two words kadi that's one and then space kadai kadai there we go so this would mean this means rarely why is this an you know an uh, adverb why because think about it he cries rarely look you're describing his ability to cry crying is a verb so therefore you're describing a verb and what material describes a verb that's an adverb okay great so let's keep going so 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 after this let's learn what um, le- yeah let's learn what always is always is sada sada and this would be always then if you want to say often then you could say either aksar aksar or you can also hear am tarte am tar te and this is the first time you're seeing this uh this this little quotation this little symbol right over here this is used when you are abbreviating or s- specifically saying te at the end here so 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 aksar and am tarte both mean often then we want to uh, learn hardly hardly would be masa so that's a mama sasa with the kanna and a bindi at the top hardly hardly masa if you want to uh, say again again it would be dubara so that's a dada with the anchor baba with the kanna rara with the kanna dubara this would be again if we want to learn uh, you know uh, you know when uh, just like we did with where that would be kadon kadon or jadon and we'll see how we use each of these because kadon is used in a question and jadon is used when you're replying i will do it when you come back so in that sort of sentence you would use jadon and if you want to say when are you going to come back then you would use kadon this is for a question this is for a sentence I, I, those are just arbitrary symbols that might normalize uh, each individual uh, style of 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 when here then let's let's learn what carefully is called carefully uh you know is is let's actually skip carefully because uh you know carefully is not uh, the, the, the one that professor santok sink is using is not normally uh you know very common and 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 i didn't really want to you know show show you or, or or give you a word that's that's not as common as you um, as you would think so that could be an assignment for you you could actually search up what carefully or what the yeah so what the translation of carefully is in punjabi because carefully is an adverb and chances are that the translation not chances are 100% uh, when you translate it whatever you get that will be the carefully so that will also be an adverb so that could be a little mini assignment for you 
Okay, so for badly, we could have buri tara. So we have a baba with the ankar, we have a rara with the bihari. Then we have a tata, a rara, so it's two words, buri, space, tara. So this rara has a haha in its feet. We have a we have a kanna with a bindi, so buri tara. This would be badly. If I want to say certainly, then that would be zarur. So zarur would be jaja with the bindi. Remember that it alternates the sound. Then arara with the delinquent and another arara. So zarur is certainly. And then if I want to do once, you know, if you if you want to say once, that would be ikvar. You know what ik is now because of we learned the numbers and var is times so var so these are two different words ik space var var is times so one time so once or better yet one time let me write that again time okay if we uh, if if we want to do one more if we want to do faithfully then we can say vafadari nar so those are two different words vafadari would be uh, you know with faith and 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 or or, or just faith and nar would would be with faith or with so you want to say with faith which means faithfully so vafadari faith nar with so you say vafadari nar which means faithfully Let's write this down. So we have a vava, we have a fafa, we have a kanna, uh, we have a dada, we have a, another kanna right over here. We have a we have a rara with a bihari, vafadari, nar, and then we would have nar as a separate separate word, vafadari nar. Together, this this would mean faith, faithfully. All right, so that's good enough for for you. Uh, in the next video, we will learn some some basic uh, prepositions, and 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 I guess I'll see you there.